Greetings from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Furso, and you are visiting my channel, Dr. Viktor Furso, entomologist, beekeeper, teacher. And today, this is a very special day. It's uh, evening time in our local time in Kiev, Ukraine, by the way. So, but my interview, my stream is in English by, because people just from different countries just persuaded me to speak English more on my channel because actually I do like speaking English and it's a great pleasure to communicate with people around the world speaking English, maybe American English or proper English English. So it's a great pleasure when someone in Iran, in Iraq, in Saudi Arabia, in Afghanistan, maybe in India, English speaking India, you know, and not only in United States of America, in Canada, in Great Britain, who can speak English freely, loudly and openly, can understand me, so I can understand people as well. But today I start entomology quiz. And you see, I have a very special address because this is, a, uh, nothing is connected with politics, but you know, this is special hat with ear flaps. It's called in Russian Ushanka, Ushanka. Yes, I know there is a special channel, Ushanka Show in America, which is devoted about a Russian approach to American style of life. And in Russia, some people are thinking that Americans were not so intelligent and clever. So this video stream about entomology will show how Americans entomologists were so intelligent and smart that they can ask tricky, funny, smart questions and they can answer this tricky funny and smart questions as well. Because I'm receiving newsletter from American Entomological Society and I found that just in November, they had a very special quiz, entomology quiz, which means entomology competition. And this is a special competition. It's sometimes it's called Linnean competition. So I visited the page of American Entomology Society and found that they have a special entomology games. And what means games? So, sorry that uh, Russian speaking, English speaking, Ukrainian speaking, entomologists talking about it in English, but I have a great pleasure to speak loudly about these questions and can read them loudly for people around the world because these questions I found very interesting for everyone. What means entomology games? Entomology games in American Entomological Society, or precisely, to be precise, Entomological Society of America, which share insect science globally. Entomology Games is a college bowl style contest in which student teams with competing universities test their entomological knowledge about answering questions on insect science. Great idea, really. And this 2020 year, Entomology Games Six, seek to ensure a fair, fun competition for all participants and an enjoyable event for virtual attendees. So this was a virtual competition. Entomological Society of America Entomology Games Committee has been adaptable and creative to develop the guidelines for this annual competition. And different universities participated and I found in the list of winners and participants, there were different universities. The winner was the team from Auburn University in the state, Alabama. Yes, a really great, very southern state in the United States. And next one, you see the place number two, Boiler Bugs, special name of teams. Boiler Bug from Purdue University, from Indiana State in a West Lafayette city. Number three place, Oklahoma State University team number one. Then was a team of Gainesville Grasshoppers, University of Florida. Number five, Arkansas Razorbacks team. Very funny sounds. And Texas gave two teams. Place number six, Texas Agricultural and Medical University team number one. Place number Seven, Rogers Graduate University. 
place eight of the Ohio State University in the state of Ohio. Number nine place Texas Agricultural Medical University team A. Ten, not a long list, sorry. Ten, North Carolina University, North Carolina State University, place number 10. 11, University of California, Davis Donovan, place number 11. That's a great miracle, very funny. Number 12, Checker Sports, University of Maryland. And 13th place, it's the team with a special name. It's getting hot in here. So take off all our moles. Very funny team. Team number 14, Nebraska Eat Bach Eater, Bach Eaters, Nebraska University, Nebraska Bach Eaters. So let's go forward to see the competition and list of the questions. Yeah, yes, yeah. What about list of questions? Actually, these. My stream is announced specially for people from another countries who can speak and can hear and understand the English language. Because somewhere in some countries I know, actually there is a limited access to internet and to some websites. For instance, in Ukraine, we are limited to have access to Russian websites. This is the sanctions, actually, very funny. But... Uh, we have uh, no sanctions about gas and oil from Russia. So we have a good gas, oil, and good heating in my, in my room. Sorry, sorry about that. It's very hot. So let's, let's read questions now and start our quiz. I do not read, I will not read the whole list of questions because questions list very long. I tried to scroll it down on the computer. Because there were 50 questions for the first round of competition. I guess it was at least time, three, four hours to answer, taking part for at least five minutes for answering. But because, I guess so, because it was, you know, the, some questions were available on Internet. It was easy to find answers. Uh, on computer because it was not online it was you see it was internet competition internet competition during if you have a good internet skills you could find through internet the answer of these tricky questions okay if you have also entomological knowledge as well and it knowledge but some questions they're just really intended for american citizen and some people who well know about geography about biology and about entomology for sure. So maybe some people from Florida and Caroline State are clever to answer for these questions. So I didn't read the questions before. I just read a couple of questions and really enjoyed very much. That's why I decided to read it just now loudly because to have surprise for me, to have surprise for you, but answers will be on the next weekend. Probably I will read half, at least 20, 25 questions. And the next round was next 20, 25 questions. So maybe it will be three parts of our stream because so long list. So let's go about quiz. Okay, what's about questions? Questions, questions. Entomology games test a wide range of entomology related knowledge about it among its students' teams, and now you have the opportunity to test yourself. Entomology, Entomology Games Committee has shared the questions and answers from both rounds on internet website of Ent Entomological Society of America, which are, I'm providing link later, and it's visible on internet newsletter Entomology Today. And if you are curious, uh, and, but entomologists always are curious how you measure up. The top score in the preliminary round was 37 correct answers among 50 questions. Well, quite interesting. 37 correct answers among 50 questions. And the top score in the final, final round was 27, 
The second round was more tough, or tougher than first. Only 27 questions were right among 40. In 2021, the entomological games will return back and we'll looking forward to see it on internet and maybe on YouTube as well. So check, we will check Entomological Society of America website. Okay, preliminary round. I cannot show you on my stream pictures, but I will give a link so you can come and see the picture. But fortunately, there are not too many pictures. More Latin names, which are available on the internet, I guess. But pictures, this is also tricky question as well. Okay, number question number one. Let's start my long introduction. Preliminary round entomology quiz 2020. Entomological Society of America. I'm not inventor of these questions, so I download audible pronunciation of all these questions, my, just for fun and for knowledge. Preliminary round, question number one. There is a special species name of fly, Daptolestes femigenatus, femi, femina get, femina tegus, Daptolestes femina tegus. A new species of fly was described by scientist Robinson with colleagues in 2020. And this fly was named in honor of Marvel Comics. Assassin? Natasha Romanov. Maybe Natasha Romanov was also Russian. So let's start reading head with ear flaps. Natasha Romanov, aka Black Widow. So the name of species was Femina tegus. The name is especially up because the species belong to special family of Diptera. Those members are often known as assassin flies or robber flies. First question is really very simple. Robber flies are well known flies. But picture is tricky, not common, non-common image of rubber flies. Let's start question number two. DBI is a biotic index developed by Yusei in 2020, scientist Yusei, for monitoring freshwater ecosystem in Rwanda using populations of what Palopterus insect order as biological indicators. Rwand Rwandan members of this order include the violet dropwing species named in Latin Tritermis annulata, Tritermis annulata, and Dwarf Pecher, species named in Latin Diplacodis pumila, which are also locally known as flying fly flowers of the river. I guess so you know something about these flowers. Not very difficult question, but need to switch on your curiosity. Okay, first question just for beginning. Easier than, be, than something else will be later. Question number three. The compound ethyl butyl acetopropionate was recently discovered to have antimicrobial and antiviral properties, which as it was described in Ligon Dongu and colleagues in 2019 paper. But since it was but since it is mostly commonly used for protection against mosquitoes and biting flies, it is better known as abbreviation name I R 3535. Oh. What does mean IR stand for in the name of this compound? That's a little bit tricky. What does IR stand for in the name of this compound? Question number four. 
Name any one of the three entomologies that are currently in the Entomological Society of America presidential line of succession, i.g. the entomologist, who are scheduled to begin their terms as ESA president at the end of 2020, 2021, and 2022. That needs to check the presidential committee on internet quickly, quickly. Number four, five. Question number five. After a controversial flag featuring a confederate battle emblem, after a controversial flag featuring a confederate battle emblem was removed. This is a picture here with mosquito and many stars around. This mosquito-centric image was one of the options considered for what state's new flag, flag design. That's interesting. Which flag, which state, United States state new flag design has a proposition to put a mosquito on the flag? That's a tricky question indeed. Some wet area, probably, and pretty warm area in the United States. S question number six. In the paper of Chasen and colleagues published in 2015, Chasen performed field trials to determine yield loss of alfalfa crops due to infestation of the leafhopper and Puasca fabi. Then they then used the results in conjunction with current crop market values and control costs to directly calculate what value for al Alpha Fabe in alfalfa. Yes, yeah, so this is a tricky question. What is about what is the value of leaf hopper and poaska fabe? in alfalfa crops. Quite interesting, everything is calculated in dollars in America. Question number seven. What well-known North American insect is the subject of a partially reducted article pictured here? Here are some black marks on article, but part of this article is about use an environmentally sensitive internal timer to control over wintering dynamics and, and published by David Green and Marcus Kronfrost. Kronfrost. I guess it was published in Willy in Molecular Ecology. It's possible to find on internet. Type it and quickly, quickly, quickly find it. Yes. What's about this name? Question number eight. In the paper of Hoy and Herso, published in 2012, in their book on biological control in the context of integrated pest management co contains an introductory summary of the history of integrated control in the United States. In this summary, a paragraph about the classical approach of scientists stone with colleagues published in 19... 59 IPM paper is immediately followed by the paragraph about what best-selling book released roughly three years later. Yes, well, this is a question about publications on integrated pest management in 2012 and in 1959. Needs to check the book. That's more difficult question. What is the best selling book on IPM? Question number nine. In the paper of Fadamiro with colleagues published in 2005, the paper demonstrated the newly emerged species Pseudactyon trucuspis. Adults lack sufficiently nutrition reserves to survive more than a few days. Consequently, this parasitoid, Pseudodactyon trichuspis, flies 
should be fed sugar or nectar in order to make them more active as biological control of what invasive species? That's an interesting question about biological control and entomophagous insects, which I just shown here on this poster nearby, just behind of me as in, uh, on the background. Okay, what invasive species is the host of parasitoid named Pseudactyon trichuspis? It's easier to find on internet, quickly, quickly, quickly. Question number 10. The species of mosquito, Aedes aegypti, mosquitoes and other blood feeding arthropods produce the enzyme apirase, which degrades ADP and the in impedes blood coagulation. According to the publication of a SMART with colleagues published in 1995, the apirase gene is expressed specifically in what glands of adult female mosquito Aedes aegypti? Yes, that's a good question indeed. Where the apirase gene is expressed, specifically in what glands of adult female Aedes aegypti? I guess you have the answer. Let's check who. who who knows the answer? Okay, let's go with the next, for the next question. No, no, that's fine, not too late, because for America is now a very good time. You know, in America, it's not late. Now in New York, in just 5 p.m. In Los Angeles, it's 2, 2 p.m. Midday, just lunchtime, 2 p.m. in Los Angeles, and just end of a weekend, end of weekend, 5 p.m. I'm not sure if this is a Monday or still Sunday in America. Never mind. Let's go forward about questions. So people can read, can listen to me and to my presentation just on recorded video. What's it? I, okay, question number 10 about Aedes aegypti, Mosquito. Nice question. Question number 11. The laus named in Latin Lepidopterus macroriti, ri, rini, macrorini, Lepidopterus macrorini, has been shown to survive under the high hydrostatic pressure. And this species is one of a few insects, amazing insects, which are adapted to extreme marine conditions, as it was published in the paper of Leonardi with colleagues in 2020. This is a special louse. This particular specimen's host was what type of amphibious, amphibious mammal, which can expose its parasites to high pressure environments by diving as deep as 2,000 meters below the surface? That's a great question. I enjoy it very much about this very funny Laos Lepidopterus macrorini, which is living on the, what type of amphibious mammal, which is exposed to these parasites to high pressure environments. And this mammal can dive as deep as 2,000 meters below the surface of sea. Nice question, number 11. I enjoy it very much. And this is a funny picture from Leonardi with colleagues, 2020. Question number 12. Recently, ecological niche modeling published, discussion published in Vaki with colleagues, 2020, indicates that what invasive full horrid species, this is leafhopper, has significant potential to establish new populations in the Western United States, especially in the regions of California and Washington, what have an abundance of trees of heaven, Ailantus altissima. 
That's interesting. What invasive polyhorid cicada or leafhopper appeared now as invasive species in the region of California and Washington. On trees of nice tree, heaven, heaven, in Latin name, Ailantus, Ailantus, a great name, Ailantus Altissima. Next question number 13. Question number 13. What prefix precedes the name of as a queen, as a queen or pyroximate in the names of two pesticides used by the scientists Lopez and Liburn in their paper of 2020 for effective management of tetronychid mites. This prefix also has an unrelated definition as a type of wetland habitat. By the way, watch prefix before the name of azaquin and peroximate as a type of pesticide, which is effective against titrony heat mites. And that's an interesting question for promotion of chemicals and pesticides in agriculture of America. So Entomological Society of America is promoting pesticides, you know, especially even in this queen, quiz, where it's very funny. Maybe not funny at all, because I don't like pesticides. What's about question number 13? The special head ID diagnostic test kit developed by the scientist Agdia Incorpor uh, by comp company, not scientist, by company Agdia Incorporated in the late 1990s, as it was published in the paper of Brian with colleagues 2000 was used to identify two native insect species of cotton that both be belong to what family? The Hell ID diagnostic test kit developed by Agdia company was used to identify two native sp insect species of cotton that belong to the what family? So this is the name of a Two very important species of insects which are developing been on cotton. Yes, yes, you may know some species which are important pass on cotton. Do you know the answer? What family of these species? Okay, question number 15. Good question. A study of disease transmission among social insects which has particular reson resonance in 2020, suggests that they rely more on behavioral mechanism, for example, hygienic behaviors, as for honeybees or ants, rather than natural immune response in order to reduce the risk of transmission, as it was published in the paper of Lopez Urbe. Uribe, Lopez Uribe, with colleagues 2016. Which hypothesis was tested by measuring what type of immune response, which is a common defense against pathogens that are too large to be phagocytosed? Phagocytosed. That's an interesting question. Which hypothesis was tested by measuring what type of immune response, which is a common defense mechanism against pathogens that are too large to be for phagocytosed? You have a good question indeed. Number 16, more medical question rather than entomological or general biology question. Question number 16. A relatively new behaviorally based management method called IPM CPI, Integrated Pest Management Crop Perimeter Rec Restructuring. IPM, Integrated Pest Management Crop Perimeter Restructuring, has been tested to efficiency for efficient efficacy against four key pest species in apple orchards, as it was 
described in the paper of Akot Sen Meshar with colleagues in 2020. In Apple Orchards and Peach Orchards, paper of Blau with colleagues 2014. These four pests belong to two different insect orders. Name either one of these insect orders. Most important, key pest species in apple orchards and in peach orchards. I guess so in America. That's an interesting question indeed. Question number 17. In 2019, the international airport in what North Central branch city unveiled its new logo featuring a large butterfly just behind the silhouette of a boxer Muhammad Ali? That's an interesting question. What North, North Central branch city has a special international airport and which has unveiled a new logo featuring a large butterfly. Butterfly just behind the picture portrait or silhouette of a boxer, Muhammad Ali. Question number 18. What three word term is defined by specialist Barboza in the paper published in 1994-98 as the use of tactics and approaches that involve the manipulation of the environment of natural enemies so as to enhance their survival, resulting in enhanced effectiveness. The concept explained by this term has also been called ecological engineering in the paper of Settile and Settle 2018, and is often treated as alternative to augment, augmentation and importation. Interesting question. All right, I already really know the answer. What three-word term is defined by Barboza as the use of tactics and approaches that involve a manipulation of the environment of natural enemies so, it's, so as to enhance their survival, resulting in enhanced effectiveness. Interesting. This question about terminology. Question number 19. Born, Bo, boom, Bryce, Bristol's, born British Bristol's or hairy plates. A group of mechanoreceptor hairs and in company form Sincilla are the all mentioned in, in the paper of Catherine Laudon's overview of what body parts, structure and function. Her article was published in the Encyclopedia of Insects, second edition, appearing shortly after the second, after the section entitled Anatomy, Head, Torx, Abdomen and Genitalia. So what body parts, structure and function? appeared in the overview of a Catherine Laudon's in Laudon's Encyclopedia of Insects with a special boom breasts and hair plates, groups of mechanoreceptor hairs and company form Sincilla. Where do they grow? Where do they deposit it? On the what part of body? Nice question, a very good question indeed. Question number 20. In the paper of Jan and Macmillan, published in 1979, and McCorn and you, published in 1987, we were the first entomologists to study the mechanism of fall army, army worms. Resistance to what acetylcholinesterase inhibiting insecticide. Again about insecticide. In the years between publication of these two studies, a factory that produced this insecticide came under the fire 
for explosion, thousands of people to toxic methyl isocyanate gas. So this is question about very dangerous methyl isocyanate gas, which appeared after the fire and production of amicit what type of acetylcholinesterase inhibiting insecticide. It was after approximately 1979. Okay, question number 21. This, okay, there is a picture with arachnida, amphibia, aves, mammalia, reptile, reptiles, coleoptera, diptera, and so, so, so on. Cannot show you, but can just try to describe. This picture is from manuscript and title. Arthropods as sign, sign, a review for global patterns, published by Valdes in 2020. What specific behavior is described by these two words, which were removed from the title, arthropods of sign, sign, which are removed from the title. This behavior has been observed in tiger beetles, giant water beetles, bugs, and giant Amazonian ants. Although in the figure indicates, it's more frequently reported in spiders. Type of uh, what kind of specific behavior? Note, your answer doesn't have to exactly match the title, but it must be specific enough to accurately describe what the figure represents. And we see under the figure the number and diversity of arachnida, scorpions, and amphibia, and different animals. Arachnida and insects. A little bit difficult question. Okay, four more questions and we will finish for the first part of question for today. Okay. Let's go. Okay, thank you for watching. No, last time. What, what do you mean last time? Oh, you've been in Florida and Carolina. I'm very happy that you were so lucky to visit Carolina and Florida, Mark. See you soon. Maybe somewhere on online communication or like on Zoom. Or maybe we can contact on Skype. Why not? I have a Skype. My Skype is... Very simple. Skype, I uh, write Skype. Skype. Zemi, Zemi, Zemi Sun. This is my Skype. Without point. Doom. Okay. Let's read next question number 22. All the all the California populations of a western fence lizard are heavily utilized as hosts by uh, immature exodus pacificus ticks, as it was described in the paper Cashier in 2001, to they are not competent reservers of what bacterial pathogen, which is vectored by exodus pacificus. We are looking for a scientific name of this path pathogen. I guess, what kind of disease? Yes, what kind of name? Spe scientific name of this pathogen. Not the name of a disease caused by the pathogen. Yes, do not miss the name of disease and specifically name of pathogen. Um, I know, but you know, you know, you know, just, you know, if you know, just think about it. Western fence lizard is heavily utilized as host by immature larvae of Ixodes pacificus ticks. <laughs> A little bit tight to read. Okay, question number 23. In the paper of Mark Kuchon and Turpin Seeds, published in 1989, in the study of Rigidoidics includes parasitoids. The scientists Knight and Gurs and Gurs, in paper published 2000, 
seven. Review of Nezara Viridula, species of Nezara Viridula management strategies. And in the paper, Mensah with colleagues, 2005. Search for Afis, Litsinia resistant plants cultivars are all scientific articles with a general goal to minimize economical losses of what widely produced food crop. All right, interesting. What widely pro produced food crops were species of such pests are growing as Chrysidoidex includens, the Nizara viridula, this is a bug, Chrysidoidex, this is a butterfly probably, and by paper of Mansart in 2005, search for Aphitis. Afis, glycine resistant plant cultivars. But all these insects were living on a widely produced crop, food could crop. What kind of food crop? Interesting, good question. Question number 24. The colony of laboratory reared parasitoid wasps, informally known as a hairy strain, was developed in Hawaii in the 1980s. 80s. The Harry strain has since been used for biological control of Mediterranean fruit flies and melon flies. But according to Harris and Okamoto, paper published in 1991, it was originally tested for its ability to parasitize what order invasive pests. That's an interesting question about. Again, about parasitoids, which are just on the background of me on this picture. What was the... Or, or other invasive species? 28. But what the invasive pest? What other invasive pest? Okay. It was originally tested for its ability to parasitize what are the invasive pests? Quite interesting. So you need to find about laboratory par reared parasitoids as a Harris strain, which is parasitizing different invasive pests. Question number 25. In the paper, this is special names, special. Wolinish, Judy, Navajo, Laulaskas in Finnish, Ishih Lonono in Zulu, Kululing in Talahon, and Tatariki in Maori are all words historically used for this for their corresponding languages to refer the members of what Hemipteran family? That's interesting. Question about what is very common hemipteran family in Navajo, which is Navajo language, in Finnish language, in Zulu, Tehalon, and even in Maori, in New Zealand. A very widely distributed hemipteran family. That uh, needs a very tricky imagination. Okay, finally, question number 26, final question for today. Well, the letter X of a predator is a progressive change of the amount of the progeny in relation to prey density. The female predatory mites can vary their offspring production at different prey densities. In phytoseed predatory mites, the X is linked to the density of the prey mites. What two words term has been replaced twice in this word X? In the above excerpt, excerpts from the article of biological control of two spotted spider mite. Two word term has been replaced twice by the letter X. In the above exception from the article of biological control of two spotted spider mites. Paper 42. Fatipur with colleagues published in 2020. 
the some, something, the something of a predator is a progressive change of amount of progeny in relation of a prey density. The female predatory mites can vary their offspring production and different prey densities. The phytoseed predatory mites, the something, is linked to the density of prey mites. This is a little bit tricky question. Okay, thank you. This is, okay, maybe 27. Because here the picture of two interesting persons. But I cannot show you, but I can announce it. The fictional character on the pictures. This is a lady and this is the man, sp spaceman. From 2005 till 2000, 2014, sitcom. And the real person on the right side, this is a man, spaceman. Spaceship man. Is the real person on the right, they both share a name of what band organochloride insecticide, which is the chemical formula, formula C12H8 H8 and chlor chloride. Six C twelve H eight and C L six. What band are one of chlorides insecticide? Okay, tricky question because this is a particular American question for American audience who knows sitcom comedies and characters of television shows. So these were twenty-seven questions of a entomological entomological quiz which is now was announced by entomological society of america i will type answers i will type not answers but links where you can come and find the answers on the page of entomological society of america but i will come back on my stream next weekend to announce answers for these questions to be precise, from the number one till the number 27. And in a separate stream, I will announce the next part of 25 questions among 50 questions, just for curiosity to know what kind of questions have been used during this Entomology Queens 2020. Oh, sorry about it. It's too hot. No sanctions for Russian gas and oil. Quite hot. And Thank you for watching. This was a Victor Furso entomologist, beekeeper teacher. I was very pleased to read questions of entomology queen quiz or entomology contest, which was announced in the Entomological Society of America 2020 in November. I hope it can be interesting for some English speaking countries, for people who is interested in entomology and Hopefully in English question, in English language as well. Yes. Goodbye. See you soon on my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Press like and write your comments under this video. So you see, I announced my I announced my Skype name, and you can find my email for personal communications just below below this video in the description so and this is very hot man was helping me during this heavy reading of this entomology quiz questions good luck see you soon bye bye tosha little little cricket just you see it's hot see you soon subscribe to my channel if you visit it first time and write your comments and visit my Patreon page as well. It's a great pleasure if you will be my Patreon sponsor. Bye-bye, Patricia. Pleasant to see you on, online. Bye-bye.